Hey you guys, welcome back to my series on Save the Cat. We are on beat number three, which is the setup. This means that there's already two videos up for you guys to go and take a look. The first one is on the opening image and the second one is the theme stated. So if you've not had a chance to watch those two videos, make sure you watch them after you're done watching this one. So today is beat number three and we're talking about the setup of your story, which is my favorite part of writing because I love, I love writing the first draft, but I mostly love the introduction part of writing, the getting to the point kind of writing. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. And it's all based on Save the Cat. So what is the setup according to Save the Cat? This is the part of the story where you get to show us the protagonist's life before everything changes. So in other words, you're going to show us her life as it is. The opening image gives us a glimpse into the character's life as it is, but this in the setup is where you're going to show us the big picture. This is where you're going to give us more flaws, give us all the things that we need to know as it pertains to her life before everything changes. The next thing you need to know about the setup, it's a multi-scene beat, which means it's not a single beat like the theme stated, which was just one scene. This is going to take several scenes to show us where her life is before everything changes. Um, you're going to show us again, you know, her character, her life, how she lives, you know, where she goes to work, or if it pertains to the story, or if she's in school, or, you know, whatever her life is before everything changes is going to be shown here, and you're going to show it in multi-beat scenes. The next thing you need to know about the setup is that there's a lot of things that you need to know about your character before you get to this part. You need to know what her characteristics are, where her tics are. You need to know what her goal is, what needs fixing, because this is going to drive your story. This is going to be the things that you need to insert in the setup. In other words, she's going to be pursuing something at the start of the novel that perhaps is not what she's going to be pursuing at the end of the novel. This is the part where you're going to show us that she's actively chasing something or pursuing something that she feels needs fixing, but in actuality, she's fixing the wrong thing. So that's a good way of thinking about the setup. You're going to position your character in a way that she is trying to fix something but she's going about it the wrong way. For example, in my next book, the one that I talked about in the last video that's going to be published next year, uh, my character is not a fan of love. She doesn't want anything to do with love. She resists it even though she has fallen in love. She is trying to just get over that instead of going full force and you know and just falling in love with the guy and living a, a life with him she goes about ruining everything she has built thus far so what she's trying to do is to get over him in ways that are not right but she thinks it's right so she's going and going and going and i've created scenarios for her where she's actively seeking her goal of not falling in love and getting over the guy she loves in ways that are not right for her in that time. So that's an example of how you can go about creating your characters and creating problems for her or creating a goal for her at the start of the novel that has to do with the overall novel, but at the end of the day, she's not going about it the right way. The next thing you need to know about the setup is that this is where you're going to introduce everyone pertaining to the first act. The first act, according to Save the Cat, includes the opening image, the theme stated, the setup, the catalyst, and the debate. All these videos I'm going to talk about coming up because right now we've done three so far, including this one. And then in the first act, we're going to do the catalyst and debate. Those two videos are coming in the next couple of days. So if you're not subscribed yet, make sure that you subscribe and that you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on those videos. So back to introducing your main characters. Um, this is all, These are all your A characters, not your secondary characters. People that are really going to be 
um, making a difference in the story for her in the first act. People who are important to the story, you're going to introduce them in the setup. The next thing you need to know about the setup, and I believe I touched on this a little bit at the start of the video, is that this is where you're going to show us all your character's flaws in all its glory. However, make sure you show flaws that are that pertain to the story. You don't want to show her, you know, you don't want to show a flaw that you won't eventually fix or that it's not related to the story that you're telling. So make sure that when you're listing your character's flaws, that you're really focusing on how does this flaw affect my character in this story that I'm writing right now? How can it be, how can I show it in the story to where people get, oh my God, this girl needs fixing or this you know, man needs fixing or whatever it is that you're writing so that it really comes through while the reader is immersed in your story. Something that I love that Save the Cat says, it says, remember that your protagonist's life cannot be perfect. Otherwise, what's the point of telling the story? You have to mess things up for her. You have to make sure that she's messy, that your character is messy in some way, that their life is messy, because the whole point of writing is getting your character to go on a journey of transformation. So they're going to start one way and they're going to end in a different way. So make sure that you keep that in mind when you're writing your character's flaws and their goal, the overall goal that they're pursuing and how they're going about it. Remember, it's going to be messy. It's not perfect at first because they are going on a journey of transformation. So that is it for the setup. If you guys have not gotten this book, you have to go out and get it. Like I said before, this book is so great for writers. I, I love it. I will never write another book without using these beats. And I actually, because I did write a screenplay, I have the uh, original, which is Save the Cat for screenwriters. And I love that one too. So if you are a screenwriter too, they have it for screenwriting and I will link it below too. I have this one linked. Um, you guys have to get this book. Make sure you guys go back and watch the other two videos. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss the entire series, which is going to be a total of 15 videos because there are 15 beats in Save the Cat Writes a Novel. And I don't want you guys to miss out. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you guys would give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys again in a couple days in a brand new video. Until then, stay safe.